Hi, my name is Jeff Jensen with Go Engineers Tech Support, and in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to use the flex feature to twist your geometry of your parts. In this example, we're going to twist the edge flange of this sheet metal part, and to do that, uh, what I did to make it easier to use the flex feature is I created sketches to locate, to add points to locate the trim planes for the flex feature, and the trim planes control where the bend or flex start and end and also I'm using it to create a coordinate system that also helps to locate the axis of the bend or twist from the flex feature. And one important thing to do when creating your coordinate system is to make sure the z-axis is going in the direction of your bend. And I've also located this in the center of my body here to make sure I'm twisting about the, the center of the the body. So let's go ahead and uh, use the flex feature to twist this. So to activate that command I'm just going to use the S shortcut key to do a search for the command instead of going to the drop down menu. And we can go ahead and select the body and you'll see initially it creates something similar to the bounding box of the geometry. So this is where the coordinate system and this, those sketch points will come in handy to uh, align this up uh, to, to twist it up how we'd like to. So let's go ahead and use the coordinate system to position the triad, and then we'll also select those sketch points to position our trim planes. So, and there we have that set up. So let's switch to the twisting option. And also, if you leave this hard edges checked, that's basically just gonna create hard edges where the trim planes intersect the geometry. So if you actually wanna have smooth uh, faces through there, you'll want to uncheck that and then we can go ahead and we'll just twist this 90 degrees and say OK. And there we have it. Our sheet metal part is twisted and that makes it a lot easier to go ahead and twist that part up easier than creating a loft. And it's really nice because you can still create a flat pattern of the sheet metal part um, by just suppressing the flex feature for the configuration for the flat pattern. So I hope you enjoyed watching this quick tip video on using the flex feature. Again, my name is Jeff Jensen with the Go Engineer Tech Support, and thanks for watching.